Troy, very simple question. How's it going? How are things? Uh, how are things going for you at the club? Um, it's gone really well, to be fair. Um, obviously, I've played a lot of games recently, and, and the form of the team has been really well. Um, are really good, should I say? Um, so yeah, it's gone. It's gone really well. Uh, we saw you explode onto the scene um, this season, and then didn't see a huge amount from you and some indifferent performances from yourself. I think you'd probably agree. But recently, we, we've seen we've seen the Troy Parrot. We've we've recognised um, kind of come back to the side. What's changed, Troy? Uh, well, as you said, I was I was doing well at the start of the season, and then I kind of, if I'm being honest, fell off a little bit coming into the middle of the season and then uh, there was no just one thing that changed but just realising that like I can't sit around and let it go by like I need to try and make every every game count should I say and and just give it 110% every game because ultimately you get one shot at it and that's this is what I want to do. I want to. I want to be a footballer. I want to play at high levels, and and yeah, I think just just realizing that I can't just let it go by. I think from the outside looking in, Troy, seeing somebody as utterly talented as yourself playing football, and then seeing them not play as well, it's kind of it's kind of frustrating for people watching. You know, I'm sure it's frustrating for you as well as the person involved. But we're watching, thinking. What's wrong? Where's Where's Troy gone? I mean, it's just it's it's just great to see you back. To be honest with you. Yeah, I appreciate that. I appreciate it. I think it's just obviously form comes into it a little bit and confidence and stuff like that. But I've kind of come to terms with that. If I if I run the way I the way I do and and give a hundred and ten percent in 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 them ways, then then the other stuff will take care of itself because form is temporary and and. Given a hundred and ten percent every game is something I can choose to do, and and it's it's my choice whether I want to do that or not, and and that's what I want to do for the team and 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 for the club. How much do you want a goal? <laughs> I want obviously everyone wants to score. Um, it's not so much about about the 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 stats or the or anything like that. It's just the the feel good factor after after scoring and obviously it boosts it boosts me uh, as as a player um but i just need to keep getting into the positions and and it, it should take care of itself you've come so close haven't you and i i think we can read sometimes the frustration on your face and I, and I totally get it that it's about the performance it's about how you play and it's about the result for the team i get that but from a personal point of view you're right those goals will just it just does wonders for yourself personally, doesn't it? Yeah, of course. But the the ultimate goal is is for the team to win. In the in at the end of the day, if it's no good me scoring and and the team not getting the result that we want, um, but obviously as you said, it, it it will help for my for my confidence and and for me feeling good about myself. But right now I'm happy. I'm I'm in a really good position, um, and I just keep want to keep doing what I can can do for the team to get a good result. Ultimately, it's about your development, isn't it, Troy, as a footballer? And you feel that with Liam and the rest of the players in here at MK Dons, you're getting that development. You're pushing yourself forward as a footballer. Yeah, of course. Um, obviously, the, the the playing time is massive. Um, and just, just learning the, the trade of the game, I suppose. Um, obviously, the other stuff, like the, the, the scoring goals and stuff, the finishing, that's something that I can keep working on. And, and, and I have been every day trying to get better. Um, and then, as I said, the, the run is something I can choose to do, and, and that's what I will. What's it like playing in this side? Because, you know, to all intents and purposes, a promotion chasing side, um, packed full of quality, the way that MK Dons play football is attractive. Um, it must be, I've, I say this actually to, to, you know, every player when I speak to them, from my perspective looking in, it must be just a, a, a really enjoyable place to work. Yeah, well, I've I've felt like that since the, the first day I came in into the into the doors. To be fair, um, obviously the the run that we've been on recently is is really good for us and has everyone feeling good that we want to do more. We're always thinking about the next game, can, like what can we get from the game, and that's that's what we're just going to continue to do until until the end of the season. But yeah, it's it's a really enjoyable 
enjoyable time for us. And uh, Saturday's game is a real opportunity to just go to the side that are at the moment, at the moment, running away with with this league. Um, but just to go up there and and show everyone in this division, including Rotherham, what MK Dons are about. Yeah, uh, we, as I said before, we're just going to take it like like we've gone into the other games, and ultimately the the main goal is to go and try and win the game. Um, it'll be massive for us, and obviously. Rotherham are a good team, the top of the league for a reason, um, but we are where we are for a reason as well, and, and I don't see what I think it'll be a good game to play in, and I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, all the all the boys are looking forward to it.